Ladies and gentlemen, without a further ado, here is your starting lineup for the final race of 2017 for America's leader in racing, the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series and the 10,000 win Possum Town Grand Prix. Row number 12. They'll start on row number 12. On the outside will be the 1P car of Andy Picklesimer, Oh Squirt, he'll get a provisional. On the inside will be the 05 car of TJ Britton, another Neesmith provisional. Row number 11 on the outside, car number 17. He resides at a Chatsworth, Georgia. I call him the family man, Chip Brindle. And to his inside, a multi-time national champion of modifieds, the king of dirt modifieds. He is the skyrocket himself out of Fertile, Iowa. It's number three, Kelly Shyrock. Starting on row number 10 outside all the way from Hockley, Texas. The 14-year-old phenom. Give him a round of applause. It's Colton Horner. Starting on the inside will be the 19 car from Brewer, Mississippi. Come in through the B-Main here tonight. Give him a round of applause. It's Marcus Minga. Moving on to the next row, row number nine, starting 18th. It's the Pawn Attack Pirate of the number 72 of going to be Steve Russell. To his inside, the two-time defending Neesmith National Champion in the Cushman Eagle Race Engines, number 23 rocket. It is loud and lightning, Corey Hedgecock. Starting on road number eight on the outside, you'll see him there in the number one car, the GRT house car. Let's give it up for the Millport Missile uh, Mill, Shawtown Flyer, Jeremy Shaw. He'll be in the one car. Starting on the inside from Collinsville, Mississippi, another Rocket XR1 car, the 1C driver, Chad Thrash. Moving on to the next row, starting 14th outside, row number seven, car number 66, Center Rome, Georgia. It's Jake the Snake Knowles. And to his inside, a former Neesmith World champion in the car number 87, Cecil B. Arthur Construction B. Uh, for PMC uh, Race Group, number 87, Longhorn, out of Forest, Virginia. It's the Walker Dog, Walker Arthur. Starting on row number six outside, he comes to us from Athens, Alabama, the F36 driver. Give it up for Kale Finley. Starting on the inside of Finley, all the way from Chattanooga, Tennessee, a dirt track Hall of Famer, the 85 car, the Chattanooga Flash. It's Ronnie Johnson. And now we move on to the top 10 starters. Starting 10th, the young hot shoe in car number 33H. He's doing double duty this weekend of the Possum Town Grand Prix. It's going to be Spencer Hughes into his inside. Starting 9th, ready to wrap up the cruise with the champions. Neesmith National Rookie of the Year title in the Club 29 entry at Walton, Kentucky. The G-Man, it is Grant Garrison. Starting on row number eight on the outside, he comes to us from Columbus, Mississippi. He'll be in the 21 car. Give it up for Neil Baggett. Starting on the inside of Baggett in the 17 car, one of the Brad Logan sponsored cars here this weekend. It's Matt Henderson. And now we move on to row number three and the rest of the field are the heat race winners from yesterday. Heat six winner on the outside of row number three, starting six, car number eight, the surprising superstation of Grant Pearl. Heat five winner, starting fifth in car number 73, it's gonna be Evan Ellis, keep an eye on him. Starting on row number two on the outside, all the way from Cuba, Alabama. He'll be in the track star house car. Let's give him a round of applause, the 232 driver, Jamie Bolod. Starting on the inside of Boland from Cartersville, Georgia. He'll ride in the 92 car. He's the original rocket man. Give it up for Rodney Martin. And now your front row. Starting on the outside of row number one in car number 33. Ross Tingle calls him the Vossberg Vandal. He's my pick to win the Possum Town Grand Prix. He might be yours. It's Scott Deadwalder. And on the pole, the car number 29 out of Union, Kentucky, a three time World of Outlaw Late Model Series National Champion. He runs full time now in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. He's also the boss of the man behind Club 29 chassis. Give it up to the Bluegrass Bandit, Daryl Lennigan. All right, race fans, are you ready to hear it? Let's tell them one time. You know the words to say on three. One, two, three. Gentlemen, start your engines. Fire them up, let's go at the mag. We're ready to go 100 laps of distance here. Who will survive? Who will win it? We don't know that yet, but on the 100th lap, we'll find out. We surely will. 24 cars have come to start. 
62 cars signed in here this weekend, race fans. These are the elite 24 cars that made it into the Possum Town Grand Prix here this weekend. 62 tried, only 24 made it. And we will be ready to go here in just a moment. There is a four-wheeler parked in front of the ambulance. If you don't move it, we'll move it for you. Do not block that ambulance in. That's just, the, that's just as plain as we can tell you. If you've got your four-wheeler parked in front of that ambulance, please go move it. If not, we'll move it for you. Ready to go. It is going to be a good one. The final event of the 2017 racing season for America's leader in racing. They are fired up, ready to go for 100 laps. $10,000 to the winner. We've got one more thing left to do for you, ladies and gentlemen, and that will be the exciting, always impressive four-wide salute to you, the best fans in all of racing, Dirt Late Model fans, and Ross Tingle will be ready to go to work then. Looks like they're putting them in four-wide mode for us right now as they go down the back straightaway. That's it. Grandstands, I know you're cold, but if you'll stand up, you'll but warm up just a little bit. And wave to these guys. They've come to race their hearts out for you here at Magnolia Motor Speedway. Wave to them. They're going to wave back to you. Back straight away. Get ready. They'll come to you. Blink your lights and blow your horns and let them know you come to watch them. There they come. The stars and cars. The Neesmith Dirt Late Models on the speedway. For the last time of 2017, forward! Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder, thunder, thunder. thunder Back thunder, straight away, here they come. Let them see you, they know you're there. Thunder, thunder, Wave to them, blink your lights and blow your horns. Here they come. As they make their way to the back straight away, I believe we're going to keep them assembled one more time, making their way around here to you. How about it, Magnolia Motor Speedway? In the words of Adam Stewart, this is the home headquarter racetrack of America's Leader in Racing. We love putting this big show on for you. And you know, Ross, 62 drivers entered through these gates totally equal. And now the word of my good buddy Rick Eshelman, 25 drivers or 24 have answered the bell and made the grade. One driver will leave here immortal and with a possum trophy to boot. That's right, great <laughs> I trophy. saw that today. The loyal order of go fast. As Ozzy Altman used to say, we're fixing to pull the trigger here for 100 laps. That's uh, right. Nee Smith, late model racing. Lanigan and Deadwilder in control of the field of cars as we get ready to go. Running down a dream. Who's it going to be at the top when this race is said and done? We'll find that out in 100 laps. Yes, sir, we will. It's almost go time. We hope you enjoy it. Our final event, our final treat for you of 2017 from America's Leader in Racing, Ross Tingle for the start out of four. Here they come. They're in the box of green flags up and down the front side. They'll go down in turn number one. Lanigan will lead them off of turn number two. Here comes Detweiler three wide for third. It's going to be Evan Ellis, Rodney Martin, Jamie Bowling, your top five as they roll off of turn number four. The Possum Town Grand Prix is underway. One lap in, 99 to go. The Bluegrass Bandit, Daryl Lanigan leads. They're three and four wide, nestled inside the top ten. Watch and look at Rodney Martin, 92, Barry Wright. Up the outside, he'll try to go three wide for fourth off of turn four. He does, and Grant Garrison, he's going to get that number four spot here at the flag stand. But... The Bluegrass Bandit, Daryl Lanigan, right now has stretched the lead out, but there's 100 laps to go. We've got 97 left. Lanigan, will he pace himself to the end? Will he use his tires up quick? We'll find out. I'm going to keep my eye on that 85 car of Ronnie Johnson. He's in ninth right now. He'll be on 55s. I promise you what he's on. Those tires, if he gets some good clean laps, He'll be coming toward the front. These are the best of the best at America's Leader in Racing, and they are slicing and dicing like a chopping block. Look out, Gordon Ramsay, here around the bag. It's Darrell Lanigan leading. In second spot, it's still Deadwilder. Third is going to be the machine in the 73 of Ellis. I'm surprised at the great run he's got going on. Grant Garrison, Rodney Martin, the top five in the early going. 
Evan Ellis looking to get that 33 car. Detweiler back to third, put him in second. But I tell you what, Lanigan, your leader, is fixing to catch lap traffic here in just another lap or so, and he's going to have to work lap traffic. And I know there's no one no better than Darrell Lanigan working lap traffic. But he's got them all across the racetrack. They're three, four, and five wide. How's he going to get across? We'll find out. He's catching them right now off of turn number two. Looks like Chip Brindle, Marcus Minga, the first two cars right in. Oh, and Brindle gets loose. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Right there by the leader, Darrell Lanigan. Lanigan now over straight away ahead of your second place car. We're just seven laps in, Ross Tingle, and he has caught the back of the pack and picking off lap cars and some pretty strong contenders at that, like Marcus Minga, Andy Picklesheimer, and uh, TJ Britton all about to be chopped off one by one. Well, it's going to be hard. Lanigan's going to have to work. He's got to work around those cars. They're three wide right now in front of your leader. But... Evan Ellis, Scott Detwell. Oh, problem. Oh. Turn three. Jake One Knowles. car. Jake, Jake Knowles. Knowles. In the 66 car has brought the caution flag in the air, but the Bluegrass Bandit out front. He had him over a straightaway before the caution come out. Lanigan's going to fire him up here in turn number four. We're back under the green flag here one more time. Back underway in the Possum Town Grand Prix on the Neesmith Smith Racing Network. Ross Tingle, Wesley Allen at the call. The field dives into turn one with Lanigan getting the whole shot over the field. Here comes the G-Man. Grant Garrison making a move on Ellis. He'll make his move on Deadwilder now, looking for second out of turn four. That's going to be something, Lanigan and Grant Garrison running one and two here. It hadn't happened yet, but Deadwilder still holding on to the second spot as Garrison to the third. The Rocket Man, Rodney Martin, he's hanging that 92 Barry right car up by the concrete. Let's see if he can make something happen. And there comes Johnson right behind Martin. Johnson trying to get that 85 car to the front as well. If he gets that car to the front here within 50 laps, about halfway, right. Lanigan. Better have something left in that 29 car. He going to be in trouble, you think? I think so. <laughs> That's my prediction. There we go. And everybody's got their own thoughts, thoughts ideas. And ideas. <laughs> Back to the line. Lanigan leads. Deadwilder second. Garrison third. Ellison. How about that 232? Jamie Bolin, he four winner yesterday. He is sitting in a good spot of the top five as well. And here comes the original Rocket Man battling with Ronnie Johnson. A couple of legends battling there in turn one, uh, turn three and four. Still a straightaway lead for the Bluegrass, Bluegrass Bandit. Darrell Lanigan out in front, still leading the way in the 29 car. Yeah, it's not showing on time and it's scoring, but we promise you we're not telling you anything yeah. false. He's out in front. Everybody, he's out front. He's the leader. Yes. He's the leader by a straightaway. Lap traffic again is going to be a factor in the next few laps for our leader, Darrell Lanigan. As Dead Wilder and Garrison roll through three and four, Evan Ellis. Jamie Bolin, and here comes the Chattanooga Flash, Ronnie Johnson. Janice Riley says, if Grant Garrison wins, Rice Krispie treats for everybody. All right. I'll give you my mailing address. <laughs> wow. Faye Jamison says, Go Club 29. The trend with us on social media using the hashtag uh, PTGP2017 on social media. You know what trending means, Ross? You know what? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Ellis in trouble. No, I'm sorry. That's Steve Russell. Battling Shaw in the middle of the pack. Right behind the machine of uh, Colton Horner and T.J. Britton. Impressed with that young man, too, Ross Tingle. He's oh, yeah. come to the front in the Black Diamond 56. He has. Colton Horner on the move as well. The 56 started from the rear of the field. And your leader, Darrell Lanigan, now to the lap traffic. Straight away ahead of lead over Scott Delweiler. Grant Garrison. Battle for second. Changed up to the bottom. He's following the grassroots line of his mentor, Darrell Lanigan. Here they come. Jeff Parker says, I'm watching from turn one at the mag, but enjoying listening to you guys call the race. So hope you're enjoying it, Jeff Parker, wherever you are, buddy. As they dive into turns number three and four, the leader is in turn three and four. Moving by lap traffic. Finley goes a lap down. He'll go a lap down. Here comes uh, Chip Brindle trying to stay on the lead lap on the outside. He'll get the two-for-one special and get him off of turn two, Ross. Lanigan right now trying to get around the F36 of Finley. He's got Chirac right in front of him in the three car. Oh, Hedgecock. oh, Hedgecock. Corey Hedgecock pulls this car to the infield. Hedgecock is in trouble. Uh, 
Uh, he's done past trouble. <laughs> he's done. Stop. He's in the parking lot, I he's guess. Parked <laughs> in the parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> But, hey, he's had a good year, seven wins oh, yeah. on the season, uh, past 100-plus wins. He's gone through a lot. His, his, his grandmother passed away with cancer a few weeks ago. I know they uh, was at the last minute deciding whether they were going to come to this race, but he's our two-time defending Neesmith National Champion. But lap, it's still landing it out in front. 23, Ronnie Johnson has yep. moved to the third spot. Here he comes. Here he comes, the Chattanooga Flash on the move in the 85 car. He's got Grant Garrison right in front of him. Back to one and two. That's where they're at. They're in turns one and two now. Off the back straightaway. The 85. As you see your leader on the monitor, Daryl Lanigan. Let's go pick something else battling around the racetrack. Lanigan's kicking butt and taking names in the early going. Let's see where this other action is. It's Ronnie Johnson putting on a show, getting by Scott Deadwilder. Now he'll begin to run down the machine of Grant Garrison, who is in second spot in a Club 29 out of turn four, Ross. That's correct. So you got a Club 29, a Club 29 in one and two of Lanigan and Garrison, and then you've got a black, uh, a uh, capital race car of Ronnie Johnson, the top three, as it stands right now. Evan Ellis is fourth. Scott Deadwilder, the top five. We are one-fourth of the way in the Possum Town Grand Prix, 26 now of 100 complete. 27 laps are down. Quarter of the way through, here comes your leader, Daryl Lanigan. Ronnie Johnson in third. Grant Garrison runs in second. It's just going to take a matter of time. You see this racetrack now, Wesley Outland, beginning to get black. Yes, sir. It's starting to get black. It it's looks like I'm at an asphalt track. It looks like I'm at the Thanksgiving Classic at Southern National back home in Kinley. <laughs> well, you're fixing to see it. They aren't even halfway through. They've got 30 laps complete. I got 70 laps to go as your leader crosses the stripe. This is why they call this the home of the black eyes. For those that do not know, explain what we are about to witness, Ross Tingle, in a few minutes. We're going to witness it here. You'll watch the bottom. A lot of the cars are running in the bottom. Some's rubbing around on the top of it. So they can race from top to bottom in this racetrack as Chip Brindle shows as he comes around the top of the racetrack. Still running around the track. I just, I don't understand. Yeah, but we're, we're still not showing Lanigan out in front, but we promise you he is still the leader. Grant Garrison is in second. Ronnie Johnson is in third. We are working lap number 32. Let's give you your top 10 right now as it stands. Daryl Lanigan leads. Grant Garrison is second. Ronnie Johnson third. Evan Ellis is fourth. And Chad Thrash, what a good run for him. Run for He's Thrash. in the top five. Then it's going to be Jamie Bowling, six, Scott Deadwilder, seven, Spencer Hughes, eighth, a good run for that young hot shoe. Neil Baggett, ninth, and Matt, uh, the Concrete Cowboy, Mad Matt Henderson, the top ten. That's how it stands on lap number 33 of 100 with 67 laps to go. It's the Bluegrass Bandit, Darrell Lanigan, still out in front in Club 29. Still out front, coming around the speedway. Like we said, we're talking about Chan Thrash. He runs in the field spot. Chan started 15th here tonight, so... He's on his way. Don't think you can't pass on this slick stuff. Right. You can pass and do pass race cars on this black ice, as they call it. It's beginning to get to the black ice right now. So when the black ice sets in, Ross, are we going to see these cars that if they're handling, having handling issues, they can slip and no. slide and spin it's easier, or will gonna, they grip it's, better? It's going to come to your foot. You're going to have to. You're going to have to manage it with your foot. Got gotcha. you. You cannot just. You got to drive the cars with your feet. You know. You got to work that throttle pedal. And they'll tell it. They'll, they can tell as they lose grip in these cars. They can tell when to let up, when to, how to mash it, or what to do. So there they come down the back straightaway. And one of those things we talked about, Ross, is, is, is in addition to the black ice in, in this race, is grueling races, 100 laps. This is more than what they run all year, uh, except for a couple of times for the big shows. Say, popping your tires. you got to save your tires as well. This racetrack, not real hard on tires. So right. The tires will look good. Just be sure you put the right compound on. That's what matters uh, here. Yeah, okay. If you can keep you a good compound tire, not too soft a tire, but maybe like a 55 or something, I promise you there's some of them out there got those 55s on. If you can get some good long runs like they're doing now, get heat in those tires, 
You're not going to burn your tires up. I well, we're, wa you. we're watching the Pontotoc Pirate of Steve Russell now be under attack by the leader of Daryl Lanigan closing in. And while that goes on, Daryl Lanigan's got a pretty comfortable lead over the rest of the field. Well, Ronnie Johnson has now took and that he's took second. second. You're over. exactly right. Yes, there sir. There your leader, Lanigan, here. Oh, on. back straightaway problems. Andy Picklesheimer in the Powell Motorsports number P1 Longhorn has stalled on the back straightaway in the next 59, 59 to, go. to go. You got that in stereo with Ross and Wesley. Bring it back to green out of four. And Lanigan back on the loud pedal again off of turn number four as he leads them down. Here comes Johnson right behind him in the 85 capital car. Then they've got Grant Garrison, Jamie Bolin holding down third. Down the, Here comes Evan Ellis looking to the inside of Garrison down in turn number three. But the Bluegrass Bandit still your leader with 42 complete. <clears throat> 58 laps to go. They're three wide back through the field. So Darrell Landing got out in front down the back straightaway. Leads the way of the Club 29 entry. In second spot is your pick, the Flash Ronnie Johnson. And for several times in the month of September and October, Ross, he has been the runner up. Can he break through tonight? And many people in social media felt the Flash could win the Possum Town Grand Prix. He's got one spot to go. And how about Jamie Bowen? A hell of a run for that young man in the 232 in his return of Neesmith competition. And Thrash to boot as they go into turn one, the top four. That's right, Jamie Bowen, Chad Thrash, many laps around Magnolia Motor Speedway here. And the Chattanooga Flash, he's got a lot of laps around here too. Lanigan with not as many laps, but Looks like he's got that Club 29 car working as well as anything I've seen on the racetrack here tonight. That's Johnson. And Johnson, you're right there with him. Lanigan not pulling away from Johnson by straightaway. Just keep your eyes on the 85 car. And Jeremy Shaw takes the GRT house car, the number one car, to the pit area. That just answers your question, Chase Tracy Poe. She said, is anyone in a GRT or a Warrior? Yes, we got a couple of drivers in GRTs. The house car we just mentioned a moment ago. Matt and Henderson there and Brad yes. Logan's other GRT. Right That's there. right, and a Warrior is uh, is TJ Britton. TJ Britton. The Alabama Dark Horse in the 05 entry as well. So, uh, Lanigan leading the way. Johnson in second, Bowling third. We're still settling them in here, single file for the time being off of turn four racing in the early going about to come up on halfway in just a lap or so and still Daryl Landigan leading the way for the first 50 from flag to flag and trying to pocket $25,000 in two weeks of racing after taking the blue gray $115,000 payday last Sunday at Cherokee Speedway in Gaffney South Carolina and now Ross Tingle trying to win the 10,000 to win 2017 edition of the Possum Town Grand Prix for America's leader in racing 50 laps down 50 laps to go let's give you a rundown as it stands as we're at halfway Ronnie Johnson is, uh, I'm sorry, Daryl Lanigan leads. Ronnie Johnson second. Jamie Bolin third. Chad Thrash is fourth. Neil back at the top five. Followed by Evan Ellis, Spencer Hughes, Grant Pearl, Matt Henderson, Walker all through the top ten. And then it's going to be the rest of the field, including Kel Finley, Colton Horner, Steve Russell, Scott Deadwilder, Grant Garrison, Rodney Martin, Marcus Minga, TJ Britton. Then it's going to be Kelly Shyrock, Andy Picklesheimer, Jeremy Shaw, Chip Brindle, Corey Hedgecock, and Jake Knowles. There's your rundown after halfway. 52 down, 48 to go, and it's still the Bluegrass Bandit, Darrell Lanigan, out in front. <coughs> Across the line. 47 laps to go down with the Possum Town Grand Prix, the final event of the year for America's leader in racing of the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. And out in front, it is still landing and fighting lap traffic. Johnson's on his heels as they dive into turn one. And Deadwilder's off the pace. He'll exit right. We'll stay green off two. We're still cleaning green here with the Vosburg Vandal, Scott Deadwilder. There goes my pick. Taking it to the pit area. And the Bluegrass Bandit still leads it, but Ronnie Johnson within striking distance there. And oh! Grant Garrison. Grant Garrison's in trouble. A stop here on the front side. That's going to bring the caution flag in the air. We have lost wow. the national champion, and now we have lost the national cruise with the champion's rookie of the year. Chose the inside of the racetrack. They'll put Jamie Bowling to the outside as the cars roll through turn number three. They'll fire him up in four. Here they come down the front side one more time. It's Lanigan, Johnson, Bowling, Thrash, and Baggett, your top five. 
And Spencer Hughes on the move as well in the 33 car. Here comes Evan Ellis in the 73. Back underway. Jamie Bowler now is taking the second spot from Ronnie Johnson. Wow. It looks like I told you that long caution would affect some of these tires on these cars as they're going to have to get heat back in them to get the heat built back up and see they may drop back a few spots and – We'll see how that So the question up. is this, though, Ross Tingle, is Daryl Lanigan overdoing it? Is he pushing well, that car too much? So he was using up those tires. You know, yeah. It looks like he's laying on the throttle pretty well all the way down the backside through the corners as well. So if he's got the right tire on there, this racetrack's not hard on race tires. Or right. Tires, so he'll probably make it to the end. we got 42 to go. 42 laps remain. The Possum Town Grand Prix. The finale for America's leader in racing on what has been a phenomenal, spectacular 2017. And we wrap it up here at the mag. Ross Tingle, Wesley Outland at the call on the Neesmith Racing Network audio video cast coverage from Columbus, uh, Mississippi. Darrell Lanigan leads the way. Look at Jamie Bolin. He's trying to pocket 10 grand. He's in second going into turn one. Johnson under attack for that spot in the corner. That's right. Jamie Bolin moving up into that second spot. And Jamie may have something left in that 232 track star. We'll find out. But the Chattanooga Flash, Ronnie Johnson, laying right there behind him, waiting for a bobble. I'm Chad, very impressed. Yeah, Chad Thrash I, yeah. up into the fourth spot. Spencer Hughes. I was going to say that. Your top five. How about that young man in the 33? Seven. Another great run yeah. for Evan Ellis and also uh, Pearl. The number eight machine of uh, Grant Pearl doing oh, yeah. a great job as well. Matt Henderson hanging in there as well in the GRT car. Brad Logan. 62 a complete coming for lap 63. Lanigan still out front. Will he get the $10,000? Something don't happen. Problems turn four. Neil Baggett with a problem in the 21. Throws his hand in the air. He's going to try to exit driver right to the infield in the overflow to get out of harm's way. He'll do that. We'll stay green. No caution. It's still landing it out in front into turn number three. Landing it now coming up around the turn number three. Bowling right there at the back bumper of the 29 car as they put the Pontotoc Pirate Steve Russell. He'll go a lap down. So the laps continue to tick away here. Working now 35 to go. Been a pretty clean race. Pretty Colton, clean race yeah. for the time being. Colton Horner up to the 11th spot in the 56 junior car. Started 20th here tonight. Young driver holding his own right there right now. So Marcus Minga. Here comes Rodney Martin. Lanigan, your leader, right behind Grant Garrison. And it looks like all the drivers are beginning to circle around the bottom of the racetrack. Is that where the grip's at? Are well, they finding grip here through turn number four? They're beginning to fan out just a little bit. They'll be two and three wide coming off of turn number four. As they go into turn number one, though, most of the cars begin to dive from the middle to the bottom of the racetrack. Leader out of four. Lanigan putting lap 69 on the board. 31 laps to go here in the Possum Town Grand Prix. Neesmith late model main event. Daryl Lanigan out in front. I'm going to check our Neesmith Racing statistics, but I do not believe Daryl Lanigan has won a Neesmith event in his career. We'll find out. In the history of the Neesmith Chevrolet Dirt Late Model Series. All of this great, can, can, uh, these drivers competing here. It's coming out of the wire. Daryl Lanigan now moving by Colton Horn. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Kelly Shyrock getting the lap down. Kelly Shyrock. Yeah, where's our buddy Colton Horner at? He's, He's hanging in the top to ten. The tenth spot. Colton Horner up into the top ten right now. Started twentieth. And Chad Thrash making contact with T.J. Britton. Trouble turn four. T.J. Britton's in trouble. His car stalled in the Warrior, and it's Chad Thrash that's got an issue in the one car, and also Colton Horner. No, Kelly Sharrock has got a problem in the car number uh, three. And Grant what kind of outcome are we going to see for this final half of the race? So it's going to be exciting to see here with landing it out in front. And uh, here 
Sure. Talking about the cars, who's strong, oh, who's not. We're back to green. Here we go. And we talked about Johnson. There he goes. He fires off in fires one. Fires off. He kept some heat in his tires that time. And maybe he's waiting for the last 25 laps. And look at Chad Thrash around the top of this racetrack in that 1C car. Chad Thrash marching his way back to the front of the field after getting a new tire on that 1C XR1 rocket car. Right around the top. Here he comes. So this is the driver that cut down a tire, mm -hmm. went to the tail end of the field, and is now in position number five. Moving Six. by Arthur for six now. Correction. As they go back into turn number two, we've got now 25 laps to go in the Possum Town Grand Prix. And you change those tires, you get faster than everybody else. Well, we could see an upset here. Right front tire on that one C car, new tire that they put on it. Could one tire make you be able to be that? I don't think it makes that much difference. Right. I mean, Thrash just took off from the restart there, had a good race car. Around the top, now he's moving back to the middle of the bottom of the racetrack. Right. Now he jumps up back up to the top in turn number one to get that top side momentum. Well, he got loose there a minute ago. But here comes your leaders, Lanigan. Can Johnson do anything with him? 78 complete caution on the speedway. Caution is out for something, somewhere, where. And Lanigan leads him down the backside. He'll fire him up in turn number four. As we get ready to go, here they come. Back on the gas one more time. And Ronnie Johnson. Tries again. Tries to get something going here in the 85 car. Jamie Bolin. Here comes Grant Pearl in the 8 car. Chad Thrash still up around the top trying to make something happen as well. Runs Look at Hughes. Spot. The young man in the 33 car trying to make something work. Trying to get by Grant Pearl in the 8. Oh, he lost that spot. Here comes Ellis to his inside. And now, Lanigan pulling away as we've seen so many times at the line. 20 to go. Next time by in the Possum Town Grand Prix will have any laps on the board, Ross Tingle. If nothing happens to that 29 car, looks like he's just about going to sew it up here on lap number 80. Complete 20 to go now for the Bluegrass Bandit, Darrell Lanigan. The Chattanooga Flash, Ronnie Johnson still holding on to that second spot. Bowling in third, Grant Pearl and Evan Ellis rounds out your top five as they run right now. Here comes Lanigan putting lap 81 on the board. I'm impressed with the drive of Jamie Bowling in 232, Grant Pearl in the eight car, Evan Ellis in 73, and of course also Spencer Hughes in 33. These young guns in the top 10 putting on a good run tonight. Absolutely. Lanigan leads the way down the back straightaway. Laps winding down. He's now got single file traffic in front of him or behind him. Clean air in front of him, I mean. And it it's 17 out. to go. It looks like the cars are just settling in now right around the bottom of the racetrack for the final 15 laps. Could we say the track's locked up on the bottom now? Yeah, it ain't locked. Eighty-four on the board. Laps winding down here in the Possum Town Grand Prix. And now the leader is going to run down the man that will pilot that car in 2018 at Grand Garrison. Grand Garrison says, go, buddy. Go take it. It's yours. Fifteen to go. Here comes your leader to make it 14. Daryl Lanigan. Ronnie Johnson. Jamie Boland. Grant Pearl. Evan Ellis. Your top five as they run right now. Ronnie Johnson on the inside of the lap car. Garrison, he'll clear him. Ronnie Johnson in second. Jamie Bolin third. Grant Pearl fourth. And Evan Ellis the top five. And they'll come to the line. It'll be 13 to go. We're working 13 to go. 12 to go this time by here at the mag. Lanigan is at the line, passing now Kelly Shyrock and putting him a lap down in the number three car. He's got to get around the lap car of Shyrock here. And he does down the back straightaway. Johnson right there. Johnson has run closer to him tonight than anybody that has been on the speedway behind him. That's right. So good run yeah. for the capital race car, could, Ronnie Johnson. But could we see Johnson saving something for these last 10 yeah, laps? They're coming to 10 to go. Lap 90 on the board. 
I don't believe there's enough lap cars and enough time left to run him down. We just saw Kelly Shyrock exit off the racetrack in the number three black diamond. His night is done. You're gonna Problems see. in turn two. Oh, no, it's not no problem. Thrash. He's going to stall it. Thrash is going to try to get off the racetrack. Don't believe he's going to make it in the, the one seat out. car. Car has. That could change here tonight on this evening in the Possum Town Grand Prix. Ten laps to go in this event. We're back underway. Down the front straightaway. Hughes looks like he missed a start. Couldn't get going in time. He fell all the way to the back. Johnson under attack now by Jamie Boland for second. And Black goes on. Laren again says, see ya. Wouldn't want to be you. I'm gone. We got nine to go. They're back to turn one. Nine laps to go. Spencer Hughes, something amiss on the 33. He fell all the way from three spots to the rear in less than a lap, Ross. 92 complete, eight laps to go. Colton Horner looking to pick up another spot from Grant Pearl. Here he comes. The 56 car wow. makes the move. He's in six. He's in the sixth spot from 20th to sixth. 14-year-old Phenom from Hockley, Texas on the move. The Lone Star Phenom. And the Black Diamond Machine trying to run down the Longhorn or Walker. Arthur in the Longhorn. As they come to the line, it'll be now six to go. This time behind the Possum Town Grand Prix of 100 laps. The Blacktop settled in here on the black ice. Landing it out in front. Johnson in second spot for several times in the last three months. Since he's hooked up with the Josh Roberts Trucking Racing Team, he has settled for a bridesmaids position. Except in the Alabama State Championship at Phoenix City, he won the Crate Late Model portion of that event. Now, or EAMS Late Model portion of the event. Now, he tries to run down Lanigan, but time is running out. Ross, they've got four to go this time by at the line. 96 complete, four to go. I think they've done what they're gonna do, Wesley. Lanigan, too strong for him here tonight. Ronnie Johnson, the closest that anybody's run to him all night is right now with Ronnie Johnson in second. Lanigan back to the corner into one. Johnson in pursuit, trying everything he can to throw the kitchen sink on this November night to make a move on the machine of the Club 29 of Lanning at a capital of the machine of Johnson. They'll come to the line. Two laps to go. The Bullhorns are up. Two remaining for Daryl Lanigan out in front. Johnson's coming. Lanigan slipped. Here comes Ronnie Johnson. He's got one more shot on him. Ross out of turn for the white flag of the P Possum Town Grand Prix. Bring him home. White flag in the air. One more time around Magnolia Motor Speedway. Ronnie Johnson had a shot there. Lanigan slipped. Lanigan gathered it back up, and here they come for the final time. It's going to be the Bluegrass Bandit, Daryl Lanigan, Ronnie Johnson, Evan Ellis, Jamie Bolin, Walker Arthur, Colton Horner, Matt Henderson, Grant Pearl, Cale Finley, and Spencer Hughes, your top ten cars.